So the key in finding out what will work for you if you're stretching your relax here is to look at what method makes your week happy, makes your day happy, makes your month happy. Now, what do I mean by that? Wearing braids has made it so much easier for me to stretch my relax here. Of course, I use other methods, whereas I would wear my headband wig. But sometimes when I want to take a break from my headband wig, then my next best option for me is to wear my hair in braids. In that way, I don't need to worry about my hair at all. Unlike wearing a headband wig, I would remove the headband wig every evening and then every morning I would put it on again. But in this case, I don't need to do anything to my hair except to care for my scalp. And of course, I would do my wash day when that time period come. Now, do I oil my scalp while my hair is in braids? For me personally, I don't see the need to. If you see the need, then fine, you can do that. However, I would recommend like a grapeseed oil or some form of light oil if you decide to oil your scalp. But for me personally, I do not oil my scalp while I'm wearing braids. So what I do, I just keep my hairline nice and soft, as you can see. And I did show a product in my other video as to how i keep my hair root nice and soft so if you want to know what that product is then you can go ahead and watch my previous video to find out what product i use to keep my roots nice and soft so the way i choose to stretch my relax hair is to not comb my hair each week so i prefer to do hairstyles that will not cause me to want to comb my hair Whenever I take a break from, my, from braiding my hair, I am wearing my headband wig. And if it is that I'm not wearing my headband wig, then of course, the best option to not comb in my hair would just maybe to wear a ponytail. But that would be like a one day or a two day break. Not the entire week because there's no way I am combing this hair. If you are familiar with relaxed hair, when you're stretching your relaxer, you are going to be having two texture. You're going to be having the relaxed hair and also the natural hair. And so you don't want to have breakage to avoid that. One way that I choose to do that is to not comb my hair. In that way, I would prevent the relaxed ends from breaking. The natural hair is strong. It's new hair. It has never been chemically altered in any way. So it is going to be strong, but pulling onto that natural hair along with the relaxed hair can cause breakage. And so to avoid it, one way you can do that is by wearing protective hairstyle that truly protects your hair and does not cause breakage. Since I've been stretching my relaxed hair, I've gotten a few questions on my videos in the comment section asking me to show hairstyle that you could wear while stretching your relaxed hair without actually wearing braids of course or using wigs now for me personally anything that is going to cause me to comb my hair that's a big no-no for me because i know that once the new growth is curly and your relaxed ends are straight once you put that comb in those curls it is going to be very difficult to comb so yes, you could really wear hairstyles that does not incorporate braiding or wearing wigs. But at the end of the day, you have to be conscious of what is it that you want to achieve. So if it is that you are stretching your relax here to avoid breakage, then if you're going to be doing hairstyles that is going to cause you to comb your hair, or even if you're not combing your hair, but you're forced to manipulate your hair in some way, then it possible could cause hair breakage for me personally i am doing this relaxer stretch to avoid one putting relaxer in my hair and two to avoid hair breakage now you might be saying won't my hair still break yes but the breakage will be minimal it will be insignificant 
to the point where it will basically feel as if there's no breakage, zero breakage, that is. So I can tell you or assure you that my hair is doing wonderful with the methods that I am currently using. I know that a few of you have asked a hairstyle that you could wear your hair in while relaxing, stretching and not braid or wear wigs. But to tell you the truth, the best option that I personally see right now is where utilizing a wig or putting your hair in a nice braided hairstyle that will truly protect your hair. Of course, you could braid your own natural hair too because that's an option and you don't have to wear wigs. I did do that one week. I did it for a week. But for me, my hair gets frizzy very, very easy. So even though I'd braided my own hair, by the end of the week, it had already started to frizz. And you know, I like my hair to be neat. And so when it was frizzy, that wasn't me. So if you don't mind having your hair looking frizzy, you can braid your own hair without putting any form of braid or anything in it. You can even plait your own hair and wear it like that. Or you could do nice braid or ear style. But like I said, my purpose of stretching my hair is so that I'm not manipulating my hair. So those are some options that you could use if you decide that you don't want to wear wigs or you don't want to wear braids but for me wearing braids and utilizing my one and only headband wig is working out perfectly for me and i'm enjoying doing that so you have to find out what is it that is going to work for you what is it that you are comfortable doing and what is it that is going to make it a lot easier for you to stretch your relaxer of course you know that you don't have to stretch your relaxer did you know that you don't have to. You can relax your hair when you want to, but you also have to remember that there are consequences if you decide to relax your hair more frequently than is necessary. So some people choose to relax your hair every eight weeks. That's okay too if you choose to relax your hair every three months, four months, that is okay. You just have to find out what is it that is going to work for you and once you find out what is working for you, then you want to stick with it. Stick with it like glue because that is what is working for you. So you don't want to go and try something new because you think it's going to be better than what you're doing. If what you're doing is working for you, then stick to it. Of course, at the end of this relaxer stretch, which I'm doing for six months, it is going to end in September. And so at the end of September, of course, we are going to have the grand reveal to see if I retain any length, if I struggled with split ends, if there was any breakage, and see if it was even worth it to stretch my hair to six months. So the key in finding out what will work for you if you're stretching your relax hair is to look at what method makes your week happy, makes your day happy, makes your month happy. Now, what do I mean by that? Now, whenever it is that I braid my hair, I feel so good, especially in the morning when I'm going out, knowing that I don't have to comb my hair. My hair is already done and it's just for me to take my shower and get ready because my hair is already put together. So in that way, it puts my mind at ease every day until that day when, of course, I'll have to take out the braids and start anew. The same thing applies when I'm wearing my headband wig when i'm taking a break from the braids i know that in the morning all i need to do is just to put on my little cap on my head my wig cap that is and just pull it back leaving my cute hairline and just sliding on my headband wig and for that entire period while i'm taking a break from my braids i feel real good knowing that I'm, there's no tension on my hair nothing pulling on my hair because I must admit that and you just feel free another thing is that it is not costing me money I mean if you feel if you're okay with that paying someone to do your hair then no big deal but for me the only thing I have to spend money on would to be to purchase the braids because I do braid my hair and of course if I want to take a break then I might just pay someone to do my braids so you have to think 
what is it that you are comfortable with what is it that will make your life easier while relaxing stretching but for me those are the two methods that i find very easy very simple and i'm enjoying my relaxing stretching because of those two methods so what you need to do is to find the methods of stretching your relaxer what is it that you feel comfortable in using and go for it and don't forget to share those in the comment section like i said earlier there are some persons who do not want to wear a wig they don't want to braid their hair so drop in the comment section how it is that you are stretching your relaxed hair without wearing wigs or braids so that others who tune into my channel and is watching this video can learn another method as to how they can safely stretch their relax here and if relax stretching is not your thing no big deal do what is best for you and your hair and of course it is always a pleasure tuning in with you my viewers and of course the pleasure having you along this journey and if you're continuing on this relaxed stretch journey with me into September, all the best and keep at it. I know a few persons have already relaxed their hair because they had already stretched their relaxed hair before I started. So they have hit their six months and have relaxed their hair. So let me know how it is that your hair is doing. And let's chat it up in the comment section below. And if you have missed my last video, of course, I'll link it in the description below or you can watch it right here and find out how my hair is doing after four months okay i'm in my fifth month and it's almost closing so next month will be opening up the sixth month and at the end of it we'll find out all the things that has happened and i will see you in my next video bye